if you guys are lacking coins for that team of the season, then check out IG Vault with the link down below. It's so easy to buy for them, and they're by far the quickest site around. They even update you as your coins go in. Use code KURT for 6% off. What's up guys, Kets here, and welcome to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be looking at something that I personally think is really, really very different. Now, I'm sure you guys lately have been absolutely addicted to Pokemon Go like I have. I cannot stop playing it. I've been doing streams on it, I've done videos on my second channel. Of course, if you guys haven't already checked out my second channel, I would say you should do it right now. I will put a link in the description down below to it. Loads of Pokemon tips, tricks, everything you can think of is going to be over there if you want help on Pokemon Go. But... That's not what we're here to do on this video. Today, I'm talking about what it would be like if FIFA made a similar version of Pokemon Go. Now, hear me out on this one. So, if we go back in the past, right, back in the day, Pokemon, Nintendo, they always, they always kind of like lead the scene. They always do the first thing that always just blows up. You think back in the day, Pokemon, everyone loved it. But they do also kind of like milk it and then come up with a new thing, like... The DS came out, everyone loved the DS, and then they released about 72 iterations of it. The Wii, everyone loved the Wii. Who, something like 80% of like the, the market share went to the Wii when it was out. How many people own a Wii U? Like seven people. So they do it, and then it, it, it goes. But now Pokemon Go is the one. They've upped their market share by like 28, sorry, their stock value by 28% or something incredible. It went up like a lot, 8 billion or something like that in the first like two days. So... That's obviously how influential this game has been. And we all know how much EA love money. And if you literally look at the real core comparisons, Pokemon Go is essentially coming from a card trading game. FIFA is coming from real life football card trading games. Do you see where I'm going here? Why can't FIFA make a version of this? Now we all know, like I said, how much EA love money. And as always, when the market does something as crazy as this, I mean, po uh, Pokemon Go, after five days in just the US, uh, Australia, New Zealand, etc. Not Canada, not England, not a lot of Europe. Already, it is the highest selling game in iPhone history. That's unbelievable. It's overtaken Angry Birds, Flappy Bird, all those games you guys have heard of. It's already absolutely blown them out of the water. It's already getting a bigger uh, search term on Google than most things. It's bigger than Twitter on iPhones at the moment. It is madness. And EA love money. So, let's take it back, right? So, the cards with FIFA. This is how they could do it. We're going to go, we're going to ignore Pokemon Go for a minute. This is how I think EA could make a FIFA version of it. And I think it would be so cool. So, firstly, obviously... Let's say they release 800 cards, maybe just the top English, Italian, German, French, Spanish. Just the top five divisions, maybe something like that. Release all the players. Or maybe just do the Premier League and then expand it. I don't know how they do it. Maybe just stick to two leagues, English, Spanish, whatever. You have those and you have them all in your binder like you would with real fit. Like when you used to have the trading cards as kids. I don't know if they still do them. I know they do the stickers. I don't know if they still do the trading cards. So you have 800 players and you have to try and get them. You can open packs maybe that you can find. Maybe you have to go to a Pokestop to get a pack or something like that. Maybe that's how it works. Maybe you have to do particular challenges. Maybe you have to run a particular distance. Maybe like different things you have to do in real life to get these FIFA cards. And then obviously in a perfect way, you can trade the cards. Maybe you go to a particular place, right? And you, you can meet up with someone and there's a trading center. Maybe... There's five in each town and you go there and you trade them and you can also collect something there. Something like that. I don't know how they could do it, but how cool would that be? Then, with the gyms. In my town, there's like three gyms along like the main high street, which is that, that direction. There's like three gyms along that road. That can be your like divisions or your tournaments. Maybe a town has a, to has a division and you can play for the division wherever you are using the cards you've got. Maybe you don't actually play the game as such like you do on here. Maybe you use the stats. I remember Top's Kick released something where you'd put like three or five players in and you'd battle their stats out. So say you've got a Ronaldo uh, and a Messi and you playing them against each other. Maybe you'll use physical and they'll use something. And you like like a Top Trump sort of style thing. And you battle against each other with the card stats to maybe win your tournament. Or So maybe you have to go to a particular location. Say there are a lot of churches are the gym leaders and the gym areas. So say you have to go outside a church to do your tournament and you can try and take on whoever's the current like tournament leader. You have someone in the quarterfinal, the semi-final and the final. You have to beat all three and then you're now the leader and then you can build in the exact same way. How perfect would that be? And then maybe for divisions, you just have to be in a town's radius for the entire like league stat. How good would this be? I'm only at the start of it. How good would that be? It would work so well. So that's 
That's your trading cards done. That's your collecting done. That's your actual battles done. XP, obviously, you get your XP for winning tournaments. You get prizes for winning the tournaments. There could be other stuff. EA could put particular, like, battles that you have to come up against. And then, when it comes with VR, there's so many different things you could do with VR. You could do actual goals. You have to go point your phone at a goal and you, they'll, it'll show you where you have to kick the ball. Say for example, this is a goal here. It'll flash up, you have to kick it there. You have to kick the ball into the top corner. So you'll place your camera down somewhere, kick the ball into the top corner. You have five attempts, you do it, you get like 10 coins or something. There are so many different ways you could do it with the packs, with the finding random cards, with the VR actual like getting yourself coins, with the trading. There's so many cool different routes. This is just the start. I sat down for about 20 minutes and tried to come up with different things they can do, and this is what I've got so far. But think how crazy it would be if, say, you went to a football game, like, actually at, say you went to Arsenal, and there's millions of people, 60,000 people there, and, like, there's 10,000 of them could have it on their phone, and they're all competing against each other, and you have little meetups where you play against each other in proper trading card fashion. It's so true that trading cards and FIFA are like so popular. As a kid, trading cards was the biggest thing. It's something that, especially people under 18, whether it's schools and like meetups and they're always out with their friends, it's so easy for it to happen, for you to play the games. How good would it be if that was something you could do on FIFA? Just think how crazy it would be. FIFA, EA Sports, if you're listening, I think you should release this app. I, don't, I can't really think of much else to say. Uh, I don't think it would work in terms of actual matches like it would on Ultimate Team, but this is an actual Pokemon. It's different. It is such a different version of the game, but it's still amazingly fun. And think how good it would be if they brought back a proper trading card game. Top's Kick was cool, but this would be something really special. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any suggestions of what they could do. I have got, like I said, I've run out of ideas, but I think I've pretty much come up with a good, solid base for a game. If you can come up with something better, then fair enough. I don't know what you'd call it, maybe FIFA Go or so. I don't know, what would it be? But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think it could be called. I may have some extra video things on the screen to go along this video. I'm going to spend quite a lot of time making it look absolutely sick. Smash the like button if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! I'm sorry, but I'm actually excited for that game that doesn't even exist.